guys. Hi, how's it going? I want to tell you a little story. It was about two years ago. I was sitting in my living room at the little toddler table. It was about f- uh, 4.35 o'clock, and it was a hot summer day. It was uh, a summer afternoon, and I was feeding my uh, toddler's twins. I think there were two, maybe one and a half, two at the time. So they were kind of like walking around, and I was feeding them with a spoon, and I just remember um, I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and it was hot and my boys were in the backyard, my other boys were in the backyard and Doug was cooking dinner uh, and it was just a regular weekday. Everyone was kind of tired, you know, it wasn't like a summer where you're just doing all the summer fun things and you're just enjoying the patio and everything. No, we like, we have four little kids, right? So... It was full-on daycare mode, especially after my nanny would leave. It would be me doing all of the, you know, child caring. So it was me feeding them, and, like, I was tired. It was hot. The kids were grumpy. They were tired. Uh, Doug was making dinner for us, and he was also, you know, after work, tired. And it was just kind of like a tired, grumpy day. And... I really remember it really well because this is also at the same time when I learned this concept that changed changed the way I, I felt. I learned that from my coach that, you know, when we resist reality, we suffer, okay? So in that moment, I noticed that I was thinking, oh, okay, you know, Doug's grumpy, you know, kids are whiny, I'm tired. And I noticed all that. I noticed my thoughts about it. And instead of resisting them and instead of wishing that everything was different, instead of kind of complaining in my head like, oh, this sucks, like, we're, you know, we must be doing something wrong if we're all so grumpy and tired and not feeling happy and all that, Instead of all that, I just remember feeling such peace about it and relief that it really that moment in time stuck with me. We weren't doing in, you know anything. It was just a regular weekday evening, and uh, but learning that concept really changed the way I look at life and at every and at people and at, at all this all the stuff that's going on. So. That's why I wanted to my third episode to be about that. And so the the concept is really very simple. Like when we resist what is happening for us and in the world, we really suffer. We feel pain. We struggle. We're frustrated, right? We are upset. We're angry. And when we don't resist reality, we don't suffer. That's it. Um, Byron Katie teaches this. She's an amazing teacher. And the way she says it is, when we resist reality, we lose but 100% of the time. And which is always true, right? When we wish something was different and when we try to change what is happening or what happened, we lose every time. Um, So my coach teaches that as well. And uh, she talks about it in a way that, oh, well, of course they did. Of course this is happening. Of course you're tired. Of course you're grumpy. Of course he's grumpy. Of course kids are whiny, right? So that's kind of like what she talks about, how she words it. Um, And for me recently, I've been uh, wording it in my head in a way like, oh, I just, I didn't know this was supposed to be like this. I didn't know that having four kids is extremely loud and so we get frustrated a lot. I didn't know that. Now I know, okay? So it, the process of saying that kind of reminds me myself. I remind myself, oh, this is the reality and I just didn't know that it was going to be like this, but it is like this now and I'm going to embrace it. This is it. Half of the time we're happy, half of the time we're not happy. And that really gives me a lot of peace and takes that extra layer of suffering off. So back to that afternoon, 
when I was sitting with the kids and feeding them, I was tired and I was like not feeling joy and everything. I was kind of like, yep, this is pretty mediocre. But I didn't layer, I didn't add an extra layer of suffering there. I wasn't like, oh yeah, I feel pretty so-so. And also I'm going to feel frustrated about feeling so-so. Right? So I just let what is be without adding any extra judgment on top of it. And that is what I want to uh, kind of offer to you here today is that you try that on in everything in your life, every single thing, and especially things that, uh, like pl situations in life where you are frustrated. You know, like if your husband forgets to do something or does something in a way that you prefer him not to or doesn't do something, right? That also is an opportunity for you to check in. Okay, am I feeling totally shitty about this? Yep. Okay, how am I wishing this was different? Oh, you know, I wish he was doing this. I wish he was did this. I wish he was more thoughtful, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I, I hear you. I hear you. And you might be 100% right. You might be 200% right. And it might feel very justified. And you might have all of the people in the world agree with you. But what is the upside of sitting there and thinking, I wish he was different? And what I found is that there is no upside. There is no upside to wishing something was different. The only thing you create for yourself when you do that is that you just feel really bad, right? Because you can't change the way it is, right? And same goes for your feelings, how you're feeling, okay? Like sometimes... As a human, we know we have because we have a human brain, and I talked about that already before. We will have thoughts that cause negative emotion, and you know, with this work, we can change the thoughts and feel better. But sometimes we, we I mean, we can't change them often enough because we have so many thoughts in the day, and so often we need to allow that negative emotion to be there so we can process it and so we can move on, right? Instead of wishing we weren't feeling bad. Um, and this concept really helped me uh, allow other people to feel upset or tired or grumpy or, uh, uh, you know, upset with me. Because um, I just really, instead of, like, fighting and wishing that they weren't, I just allow them to be, right? Because I can't change, I can't change them, th how they're feeling, like, when if my husband is tired and, and, like, impatient with the kids, right? Like, I totally understand how he's feeling, where he's coming from. And so me trying to change that does not... And by the way, he's totally amazing with the kids. Like, he's way better at that than I am. I'm a lot more reactive and snappy with the kids. And I'm the one doing a lot of work on myself to kind of show up as a better mom he naturally just does it so well. But when he does have that moment, I, I, can, I just choose to say, yep, sometimes he's just like that, right? And so that helps me uh, to do the same with my kids. When they are uh, miserable, I just allow them to be miserable. Like life is not supposed to be amazing all the time. And that's what that gives me a lot of relief. Um, so uh, I, uh, when a lot of people hear that, they might have thoughts like, yeah, I mean, that makes sense when the kids and, and the grumpy and the tiredness, but what about bigger things like all the murders and the suffering and the injustices in the world? Like, they're not supposed to be happening. Like, how are we supposed to, well, we're supposed to be just fine with that and just say, okay, this is supposed to be happening? And... Here's the answer to that. Um, when we look at, let's say, um, some horrible murder, right, or some something terrible hap happening to some people, we have two choices. We can either, s you know, sit there and feel and wish it was different. We can be very angry that that is happening. We and we will be very justified. We will be absolutely right, and 
I will agree with you. Yes, it is totally terrible. Should not be happening. It is unfair. People should not treat people that way. And we will be angry together, right? We will be frustrated together that that is happening or that happened, right? We will be um, frustrated. We will be disappointed. We will be unsatisfied. And what that will do is we are going to be adding extra suffering to the world, right? So when someone's murdered, you know, that person may be suffered in that process, right? So when we're sitting here wishing that they didn't suffer, by that wishing, we are creating extra suffering in the world. So I really truly believe that for us to help in that situation, we... Our job is to not add extra suffering, but instead, um, how you know what do we want to add in here, right? And you might say, okay, well, uh, if I don't feel about that, I'm not gonna, you know, we're not gonna do anything about it. And I disagree, because we are t can totally do something about it, right? If you're going to, um, you know, contribute by starting a support group for people and just try to change the world for the better because of that murder, I want to suggest to you that that will be coming not from your frustration and suffering. Yes, you might have that, but what will drive your action to start like a support group is a different feeling, a feeling of empowered, a feeling of love and compassion and wanting to help. So that will feeling will drive your, um, ch you know, your support and your help and your contribution to the world. So I want to suggest that that is not necessary for us to sit there and wish that the world was different, right? In fact, it is more useful to say, okay, this is how the world is, and this is what I'm going to do about it, right? So just want to leave you with that thought is that embrace like what whatever the reality is in front of you just let that be and if you forget that's totally fine I forget all the time uh, in some areas in other areas I'm well practiced and I'm like oh right this is totally normal right and that is actually why I, as a life coach, I still get coaching myself is because I, I regularly am not aware that I'm doing that. So when I get coached, my coach reminds me, she's like, oh, well, you're just resisting reality here. You're just wishing things were different. And I go, oh, right, totally, right? I totally didn't even notice that. I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. Because to me, it was reasonable, it made sense, and here's all the reasons why it makes sense, right? So when she points out to me that to me, I see that just by doing that, I'm frustrated, and uh, from that space, I'm not creating anything that actually I want, right? So, and um, that, is what I li that is why I love coaching, is because it provides us that external... Uh, peek into our own brain and shows us what we're doing, you know, and if we're aware of this concept that when we resist reality, we create suffering for ourselves, and, you know, when the coach comes and tells you, oh, hey, did you notice you were doing that and you didn't, then that is such a useful information for, for you to take away and, um, you know, maybe choose not to, right? Um, so that is why I think you should come and sign up for a mini session with me, uh, where it's totally free. We get on the phone and I just, I hear, I hear you out and you tell me everything that's going on in your life. And, um, we find out how maybe you're doing that in your life now and whether you want to keep on doing that. And if it's, whether it's creating results for you that you want, it's absolutely free. Um, it's the best gift I think you can give to yourself today, anytime. Um, so um, don't resist reality. And then when you do, it's totally okay. We're going to be compassionate with ourselves. We're going to be curious, right? I want you to be curious and not have any judgment. Ooh, I wonder why I feel bad, right? I wonder 
what am I wishing that was different now? And what if I didn't wish it was different? How would I feel differently? Right? All right, guys. Uh, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.